that I want to keep and I have some fabric that I like to combine with this t-shirt. So first of all I'm going to cut the sleeves off. scary bits. So I'm left over with a triangle like that. And now I have to make um, some sleeves to fit on here. I'm using the off cuts of the old t-shirt as a template to cut out new sleeves. And that is from a tank top I'm not wearing, but I do like the fabric. So that's recycling at the utmost. There we go. That's my sleeve. Sleeves. I ha I cut two of those. One is upside down, by the way, but that's because that's the only way I could fit both sleeves in. Next step. So that on there, and this goes on there. I'll show you. That is what it's going to look like. So I've sewn there and there. I've got the uh, horses the right way up on the front, and they're upside down on the back. I don't mind. And I don't mind if this project doesn't work out, I'm just going to chuck it. So if you want to sew, just try anything. Just go for it. Try and you can always throw it away, especially if it's recycled stuff. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to sew this and after that I'm going to see if I can get a nice neckline on there. But first, sew these sides together. So this and this just goes on there. So that together. That's the next step. Right, so I've sewn the sleeves to the center part of the t-shirt and I tried it on just to see how the collar was fitting and if the whole thing um, actually fit and it did and all I want to do is just round it off a little bit um, right here so I'm not cutting this freestyle I drew it on with my um, sewing chalk, which just rubs off. So I drew it on and I'm following that line to just round off this bit here. And these bits are actually uh, perfectly fine. I've got square sh shoulders, so it doesn't matter that it's very square. Great. So all I have to do is get a collar on. Now I was thinking of reusing the old collar and sewing that on the neck piece, but I'm not sure I like the red on there. Another thing you can do is just make some edging from the fabric that you already you have left over from the old 
other t-shirt. So that's kind of nice, maybe. Um, you can use other trimmings you have laying around, maybe. So, so I have some very black band tape here and see if that might work. That might be kind of nice. I like the black. I think I like the black best. So I'm going to have a look around and see what I can use to trim these edges. Okay, so I had a rummage in my stash, which is these little plastic boxes of all kinds of trimmings and I keep them color coordinated so I can easily match them to any project I'm working on. And this is my box of bias tape and I've gone for the bias. That is one I really, really like. Oh, she's not focusing there. That's the one I really, really like. Um, because it's uh, reflective, the little crosses are reflective material, but I don't have enough. So then I found this glossy satin bias tape and it's really nice, but it isn't enough. <laughs> and then I found this simple, um, and I found this simple cotton one and it's a really, really nice color with the t-shirt and it might just be enough. So I'm going to go for this one. I also found, while I was in my stash, I found some nice cotton tape with a bit of red in there. That's kind of nice. And I found some tape with little stars on. I might use these bits to just juice up the t-shirt. So, um... Here's a little tip. I always ask people when they buy clothing, it sometimes has these uh, little ribbons in there that are used to keep them on the hooks in the shops. And I, most people cut these off and I ask them to save them for me because I can use them in projects like this. Example, this one is very cute. It says, oh, that's very hard to focus on. It says glamorous. So these are fun little bits you can add. And uh, this is another one. It's simply, it's a clothing brand. But it says superstar. And I don't know what this one says. It just says something with rouge on it. Well, doesn't matter. You can get them uh, in any color. And I keep them for projects like this because it's fun. Back in there, very useful. So now to attach the bias tape to the collar and that's going to be a tricky bit because this is not um, stretchy. It's bias so it's a little bit stretchy and this is very stretchy and I want it to stay stretchy but I don't want this to wrinkle up so I'm going to fidget around with it a bit and um, see if it works out. It's done! It has a nice uh, edge of bias tape and it fits and it looks great and I might just, I'm fiddling around with um, crystals here and these edges see if I want to add anything to it that will make it even more fabulous. So I might use a bit of edging here and there. I don't know where I might not use it and just keep it back in my stash. And here are some crystals that might be fun to add. Even a few red ones in there. Or I might just leave it as it is and don't add anything and enjoy wearing it for its second lease of life. So that's my t-shirt. <laughs>